Prime Minister Lawrence Wong has made his first statement regarding the Johor police station attack last week. In a Facebook post on Tuesday, May 21st, he wrote that the attack just across our borders is a grim reminder that the threat of terrorism remains high. Last Friday, a man killed two officers at the Ulu Tyrum police station in Johor and injured another before being shot dead. PM Wong said the ongoing conflict in the Middle East has been used by global terrorist elements to peddle their radical rhetoric and incite calls for violence. He urged Singaporeans to stay vigilant against extremist ideologies finding resonance here. Adding that he had just been briefed by Singapore's security agencies regarding this matter. PM Wong said, self-radicalization is a growing concern especially in our youths. Over the past two years, four self-radicalized youths under the age of 20 were dealt with under the Internal Security Act. He said that investigations into the Ulu Tarim attack are ongoing and although the suspect's father was a member of terrorist group Jama Islamiyah, he reportedly acted alone and his motivations remain unclear. In view of the heightened threat situation following the attack, Singapore's security measures have been stepped up, including those at the checkpoints. Our security agencies will continue to monitor global and regional security developments closely. He said. PM Wang urged the public to report anyone who shows signs of radicalization to the Internal Security Department ISD. Early reporting will allow ISD and its partners to help the suspected radicalized individual in a timely manner and prevent the person from harming himself herself and others.